Hey guys, welcome back to Tenorshare. In today's video, I'll discuss several scenarios and solutions for resetting your iPad. During the operation of your iPad, you may encounter some issues such as malfunctions or system crashes. These situations may cause your iPad to freeze or black out, which can be quite frustrating. In such cases, you'll need to try resetting your iPad to restore it. Or perhaps you've forgotten your iPad's passcode, in which case you also need to reset your iPad to remove the password. However, please note that resetting your iPad will delete all data on your device. So proceed with caution if you haven't backed up your device data. Now, let's explore some simple methods for resetting your iPad for these scenarios. Firstly, if you can access your iPad normally, the reset method is much simpler. Open Settings on your iPad, then navigate to General. Scroll down to the bottom where you'll find the option for Transfer or Reset iPad. Here, you'll see two options, Reset and Erase all content and settings. Using the Reset option will restore the device's settings to their original state. Using the Erase all content and settings option will restore your iPad to factory settings, deleting all data on the device. I'll demonstrate the steps for using the Erase all content and settings option. Tap Erase iPad, then enter your device passcode. If you haven't backed up your data yet, you'll have the chance to do so now. If you don't need to back up, you can choose Skip Backup. Next, you'll need to enter your Apple ID password. Once done, your iPad will shut down to begin the reset process. After your iPad restarts, it'll be like new, and you can set it up for use. This is the process for resetting your iPad when you have access to it. If your device is currently inaccessible, you can try the next method using 4UK to reset and update your iPad. If your iPad system encounters issues, resetting and updating iOS can be a good solution. However, this method requires you to regularly back up your data, otherwise your data on the iPad will be lost. You can download 4UK from the link provided below the video description. Then connect your iPad to the computer using a data cable and launch 4UK. Select Unlock iOS screen and follow the instructions to put your iPad into recovery mode. Depending on your iPad model, the steps may vary. If your iPad has a home button, you need to press and hold the power button and the home button. If your iPad does not have a home button, you need to press the volume up and down buttons and then hold down the power button. For UK will then detect your iPad and provide the latest iOS firmware compatible with your device. Click on download and wait for the firmware to be downloaded. Once downloaded, click on start to remove to initiate the iPad reset process. This process will take about 10 minutes, so please be patient. After the reset progress bar completes, your iPad will restart and you'll need to set it up again. When you encounter the activation lock screen, use your Apple ID and password to activate your iPad. When the prompt to transfer your apps and data appears during setup, you can choose how to restore your backup data. This is a relatively simple solution, but if you have another Apple device, you can try the next method, using Find My to reset your iPad. This method requires your iPad to be logged into the same Apple ID as another device. Then, on the other device, open Find My, select your device from the list, and choose Erase iPad to wipe all data from your iPad. Follow the prompts. Verify your Apple ID password and tap Erase iPad. Your iPad will begin resetting, which takes about 5 minutes, and then it will be reset to factory settings. So, those are the two methods for resetting your iPad without passcode. That's all about resetting your iPad without passcode. If you found this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to our channel. If you're interested in 4UK, don't forget to click the link in the video description for more information. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.